In our last video, we implemented a basic tool calling agent and streamed the results live into our React application. Now, in most cases, a tool call only takes a reasonable amount of time. Often you fetch something from the API, write or fetch to the file system, or integrate into another service. But what if your tool call actually runs for a decent amount of time? For example, you trigger a subagent that does a whole lot of work for you uh, until it responds. A really responsive UI should give a user constant updates to ensure they know something is happening in the background, ideally giving them some sense of expectation to when this operation is about to finish. With Langchain, this can be managed via custom stream events. Uh, let's dive into it to see how we can implement and add custom events to our agent and how we can render it into our front end. Let's check it out. Now, in our sandbox example, we are working with a data analysis agent here that will help us to parse through multiple files, analyze the content, and give us some trends about its content. So, in a normal application, you may show the human message followed by some sort of loading indicator that shows that something is happening in the background. And once all the two calls have been done, you show the final assistant message with the result of the analysis. Now, as you can see here, it may take some time until all the files have been processed by the LLM and a trend has been generated. We can make the app now more responsive by rendering immediate tool events right into the front end while the tool is being executed. So let me go into the code and we enable some sections and we run the example again. We will now see that yeah, as soon as the tool is being executed, we are streaming live updates from the tool call into the UI, which will make the overall application much more responsive. Let's look into the code. First, let's have a look into the agent. The agent is fairly simple. We again define a model. We have a tool to analyze the data and we have a tool to process files. The implementation of these tools is not important. What's important is how we send updates to the UI. And we do this with the config.writer function. The config.writer function is part of the tool runtime and allows us to just send arbitrary events to the front end. It is part of the second argument of your tool function and provides you a way to send arbitrary data blobs to the UI. You can see here that we're iterating through different stages and for every stage we send a progress update that satisfies a certain interface. And then we just have an arbitrary wait time of 500 milliseconds until we go through the next step and finally send a final status report. Now, what's important here are two things. For one, we are giving every of our custom events a type that will help us to later identify that event in our UI and render specific cards for these events in the front end. What we also send along is the tool call. This will help us, especially the tool call ID will help us to render the progress event to the specific progress or data analysis tool call. Now in our front end, we get access to these custom events through the on custom event handler, which is part of the use stream hook that we have. Again, we access the custom streaming agent, which is defined in our HNTS, and we reach us to the on custom event where we essentially just collect the data and put them into dedicated maps that we then access during the rendering time of our component. Now, when we receive the data, it's usually typed as an unknown object. We now have to have these or implement these helper functions to help properly type these objects so we can put them into the right map. And we do this by having these helper functions where we validate that the data blob is an object, it's not null, and that the type that we sent along is the right type. And then whenever this function returns to true, we can tell TypeScript to label the data object with the dedicated interface. So for is progress data, we label the object as progress data object and for the other functions the same. Now, when we render the component, again, we will stream through all the messages. And whenever we come across an AI message that contains a specific amount of tool calls, we're mapping over these tool calls and connect every tool call with a specific component that renders a specific custom event of that tool call. And at the end, 
we rendered the message bubble and rendered the the custom tool update cards right after it. So the way this now looks like is that we have an assistant message with loading indicator and as soon as the tool call is being executed, we can render something in the UI while the tool is working on different types of data. We can even show multiple updates for different or multiple tool calls at the same time. Now, custom events are a great way to render immediate feedback in your application when a tool call may take a second or two longer than desired. Check out the example below to see the whole application, how we deployed it with LangGraph Dev Server, and how we identify these custom events and render them in the front end. You can also see everything in our front end docs where we document how you can register your custom event handler as well as detect these custom events in your UI. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.